Good morning, here's the day. So that was my new idea I wanted to do yesterday because I've always wanted to have like a big thing with the date and the time on the screen, but then I'm always afraid, well, it covers up my face. What if I'm doing a good face that, that time? So I'm like, here, we'll just do a quick one with the thing, then I can go to my face. Um, I just recorded uh, like f- seven minutes of me talking about my dream, so you can watch that later. And you'll notice it's like only 8.40. I woke up, I looked at my phone, it was like 7.57 a.m. And I'm like, oh, I guess it's time to get up. But I went to bed around 10 last night. Charlotte called around 10. And then I'm like, I gotta go to bed. So I talked to her for a few minutes. And then I don't remember too much of my podcast. So And the CPAP machine said 10 hours on the dot uh, from the time I put it on, turned it on, from the time I turned it off. So uh, my, my plan was to get up early. I heard a few minutes ago my somebody grinding coffee. And I was like, imagine if I dazzle my parents by getting up and they're like what are you doing while we're drinking our coffee and at the same time i want to be mr fitness show my dad look at me i'm going for a run at like well i guess it'll be 9 a.m at this point that's too bad i was gonna get up and get it all done by eight but what i need to do now is just uh, tidy up my room i guess quickly because the cleaning lady's coming this morning uh, but they'll be they'll be blown away um it's january 2nd so yeah i uh, i'm gonna go to bed even earlier tonight maybe like nine and then i'll be getting up at seven for sure i won't even have to close my blinds because i'll be getting up at the sunrise this is good okay let's do this all right now normally you'd see me sort of waking up at this time going Ugh. but as you know i've already been up and i just went for a 4.5 mile run uh i filmed uh, another tour of the byward market Listen to a podcast about uh, the changes in, in YouTube for 2021 we need to be aware of. And then I was looking for eggnog because my parents were mentioning, oh, you know, Auntie Sue wants eggnog. Maybe you can get eggnog yesterday they were saying. So I checked three variety stores and uh, Loblaws, and they all say, no, there's no more eggnog. They stopped making it yesterday. So, uh, so I came home and reported that. I bought a couple bottles of ginger ale no name ginger ale two for two dollars the big two liter bottles it's pretty good um and then uh i told my mom about the eggnog and she's like how do you make eggnog and she looked it up on her and i'm like the eggnog has to cool well what do you mean you've made the eggnog so yeah i'm like you already made it where is it just like it's in the fridge i'm like what you got all the ingredients like yeah it's just like milk and cream and sugar and uh, egg i guess and cinnamon i'm like this is game changing you can make your own eggnog who knew so my mom's very resourceful, and she's the type, she wants to do something, Within, you know, I'm going to do it, look it up, boom, done. My dad is the opposite. Like, uh, a couple of days ago, he was, like, mentioning that the, the new lights fixtures he got for the living room, they flicker. And the guy at the store said, oh, they're LED lights, they, they flicker, uh, that's just what they do. And I'm like, I don't know. So when my aunt was here, I was, like, dimming them. I'm like, eh, one. He said, when it's very dim, it flickers. I'm like, oh, this one is fine. And I tried the other one, I'm like... Oh, yeah, there's a flicker, but just one of the light bulbs. So I mentioned to him, actually, no, I got the ladder. My aunt said, get the ladder. and, and Or my mom said, get the ladder. I was going to stand on a chair. I don't know. Uh, and my dad's like, Ooh, what are you doing? And I'm like, it's, it's hard to take them out, like, open them. I'm like, okay, fine. And he's just he's like, just leave it. And then the next day, he was like, hmm, I thought about it. And yeah, maybe it is just that one light bulb. But if you're going to do it, do it, like, it has to be a couple of people because you have to hold the thing and, and to, to unscrew the whole thing. I'm like, all right, fine. So, yeah, he's the type that needs to sort of sit and think about it for a few days before he's going to try all I was going to do was try tightening or loosening the light bulb to see because it's probably just not screwed in right but my mom is like yeah it's done two minutes and that's what she does every morning she gets up and runs she's written a book she's painted a painting whatever it's all very impressive so I want to try to harness more of that uh, and I just got this message from our friend Charles check this out so Charles is saying not sure if you realize it, but your behavior is the same as your dad's, complaining every day about self-inflicted events and outcomes of your life. So, hmm. All right, well, here, let me comment on that. Okay, well, the difference with me is that I know these were self-inflicted. My dad seems to be in denial that exercise would make any difference in his physical health. Uh, And he's just like, oh, woe is me, I'm old. Uh, and, And me, I'm like, no, I know I broke up with my girlfriends, and I know I... I left my job, and I know I uh, should have got married and had kids, and I should have stayed in school. Like, this is all mistakes I made, I guess, in retrospect, they were mistakes. I guess the time, you're, like, just trying to figure out what to do at the time. Um, but I think I see what Charles is saying. And yeah, you know, I sit here and complain that I don't have a girlfriend. Or, 
or or that I don't have money or whatever it is when instead of complaining I you know you got to take action you got to do things but I think I've shown that today I mean wow I went for a run which is not which is not that impressive like you know I'm like an 80 year old person good for me I uh, today's activity is I got out of bed and I walked three feet like that's not you know Jeff Bezos wouldn't see that as an accomplishment so uh like I said I'm going to try to stop complaining it's a new year and uh, in the podcast, the YouTube podcast, uh, I was just listening to Tim Schmoyer was saying, I don't really care about New Year's. Like, it seems like a crutch. Or somebody was saying it was a crutch Yeah, on that show. Like, they were, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, the younger guy was saying, or not the young, I don't know how old they are, but he was saying, uh, you know, it's like, oh, yeah. So I say, okay, in two months, it's going to be New Year's. So that's when I'll, I'll start doing whatever it is. But then in two months, he doesn't care anymore. It's like, you got to start doing it now, like right now. And that's going to be my new thing. It's not even going to be like, oh, let me maybe tomorrow or next month or next year. It's not even going to be next hour. It's like right now, what am I doing? So right now, I'm going to start uploading some YouTube videos. Okay, let's keep this quick because we are getting dangerously close to screwing up my New Year's plan of going to bed early. Um, so, as you know, I went for that long jog. Oh, I haven't posted that whole thing. I've got to catch up on all these YouTube videos. My God. Um, and then I uh, came home and then I went with my parents to watch the Mrs. Maisels. And again, they drove and I just walked because I'm trying to set a good example. But also, I like walking. It's like I can walk. If you don't walk, you lose the ability to walk. So, uh, got there, and I think they waited for me this time. I, I saw when I came home that my aunt had texted a couple of times saying, when are you getting here? So it took me a little while because I had to make a couple of peanut butter and jam sandwiches to eat on the way because I hadn't eaten. But I got there, and I was like, I? I brought my laptop thinking, okay, maybe I'll work. Maybe I don't really want to watch this. And, you know, like, I don't know. A few minutes into it, my mom asked my aunt, "Oh, does she does does the does the husband die or does he did they get divorced?" And my aunt's like, "What?" And I'm like thinking, "Just no, mom, don't." We talked about it afterwards, and it's like, "Why would you ask the spoilers?" Because yeah, we watched three episodes, and then when she was leaving, she's like, "Oh, so what happens like uh, you know after season three or something?" Like, and I'm like, "Why do you want to know?" She's like, "Well, I like reading books. I I read the end of the book first to know what happens, and then I'll know." And then I know what to look for during the book. I'm like, that's ridiculous. That's not how the author wants you to look at it. Anyway, I watched the whole thing uh, very closely. It, it gave me so many different emotions. The, uh, the, the Rachel actress, the main character, reminds me so much of my last girlfriend. Uh, and it just tore me apart. I'm like, that could have been me. That, and I'm like that idiot guy that broke up with her. And then uh, her dad in the movie or in the show is like a professor. And I'm like, oh, I could have been me. I could have been teaching university. So, but then when she does comedy, I'm like, that's me. That's my superpower. I should be at nightclubs just going up there and ranting. So it's a whole, I, I might need to film. I was going to film a video tonight. I haven't yet, but maybe tomorrow. It's like my hot take talking about all the emotions it has stirred up in me. And then my parents were putting on their shoes and... I said, uh, my mom's like, are you coming with us? And I'm like, uh, no, nah, I'm going to walk. I mean, I can leave with you, but they went up leaving. Uh, and then I was talking to this guy in the hallway with his little, I don't know, five-year-old daughter or something. Um, and he was saying, somehow we got on the topic. I guess uh, I know, we were talking about how we, we watch things here. And then he's like, oh, yeah, I set up uh, you know, Amazon Prime for my dad. And I said, yeah, I'm not going to do it for my dad because I want him to exercise. I don't want to give him another excuse just to sit there. And he's like, oh, I got my dad like one of those uh, little pedal things um, that you can sit in your chair and you can pedal it and then he exercises a bit. And I'm like, that's my aunt was telling me about that a couple of weeks ago. I was looking for it. And he's like, yeah, I just found one for, used one for $30 on uh, Facebook, like on, he said on Marketplace. I'm like, Facebook Marketplace? He's like, yeah, there was a bad one, but then the good one, I bought the good one, 30 bucks. There was 10 people in line to get it, but I, I said, I want it. And so I'm like, huh, I should just get one. And then it was like six o'clock. I was back here and I'm like... And it's that kind of weird moment where, are they going to call me for dinner? Or can I just settle in and start like posting things? And so I, I uploaded a couple of videos. And then at some point I realized, oh, no. Because it, it wasn't uploading, so I re-uploaded my YouTube app. But I forgot to change the setting. Because like in the settings, it'll say upload and what resolution. And it was clicked on 
1080p by default, but I wanted full quality. So then I had to take down a couple of videos that I already posted and put them back up. Whole big waste of time. And then they didn't wind up calling me for dinner, which is fine. And then uh, this woman messaged me or added me to Facebook and I said hi. And, and then she's like, I, I won't, can we talk on the phone? I'm like, I guess. And then uh, she went, then she's like, you know, 8.15. I'm like, okay. But it was like nine by the time I finished eating my snack upstairs. And then we talked for a while and she wants me to like build her a website. She's been following my social media and likes my way of thinking. And so I'm going to help her with that. And then that was it. And then I've just been, I guess Charlotte messaged me around 9.20 and I, she's like, you're going to go to bed at 10. And I'm like, oh yeah, no, I've already brushed my teeth. I'm already on the bed. And, but now somehow I just got into this Instagram thing like oh I watched Brad Pitt on Ellen and like why 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 okay let's all go to bed now okay Uh, good night oh and one other thing this guy messaged me on Facebook today he's like do you know that the the sound is out of sync on your Instagram stories when you post the videos and I'm like yeah I found that problem years ago and I used to put the video in my YouTube and then try to move the sound to line it up properly but that's complete waste of time so I'm just uploading them as they are now and I mean, you don't need the visuals of this anyways. You can just listen to it if you want. But I definitely, uh, I want to find an app that lets you just film throughout the day. Or I'm going to have to invent that. Um, All right. So now it's time to go to sleep. And uh, oh, look at this, this crazy machine. I feel like I'm in the Matrix. You know, when they stick the thing in the back of the head. And then you're like, oh, I'm in the Matrix. But uh, it's not, I'm not Keanu Reeves. I know, it's a shocker. It's a shocker, I know. Oh, and I just had one other thought. Um, Maybe you guys could comment in the comments, if you're looking at this on Instagram, uh, as opposed to messaging me. You can still message me in person, that's fine, but a lot of people people have been messaging, like they'll reply to my story and they'll... Oh, I just thought of something. Of course that's why you're replying to my story, because it's in the story. This isn't a post. I was going to suggest, like, let's have a discussion in the comments and then people can see your comments and it helps get the video out there on YouTube and stuff. But yes, I'm posting in my stories. All right. All right. So from now on, I'm going to have to start posting videos just in YouTube more, try to build up that community. Uh, yeah. Or maybe I'll make a private Facebook group for us, but that makes no sense. I want to have this discussion with the world. All right. Never mind. Let me think about this. Thanks.